turn your favorite Odyssey headphones into a world-class studio using the Reveal Plus with Embody plugin. These days, many of us are producing, mixing, and mastering in less than ideal locations, sometimes without an acoustically treated studio, maybe even on headphones in our bedroom in the middle of the night. But no matter where or when you're mixing with your Odyssey headphones, in Reveal Plus, you'll be sitting in the sweet spot of a pro studio of your choice. You'll get to listen to your mixes in the studios of Grammy award-winning engineers and producers. But how can you have an accurate virtual studio experience on headphones? You've got to bring your ears with you. From just a single picture of your right ear, Embody's artificial intelligence algorithms create your personalized oral map profile and transport you into the world-class studio tuned to your ears. Today, we'll look at the Reveal Plus plugin and I'll walk you through how to set up your oral map profile. First, let's get you all set up. You can download directly from the Odyssey website, select Mac or Windows, and then follow the instructions on the installer. Now launch your favorite DAW. Today I'll be showcasing Pro Tools. However, the installer also includes VST and audio units, so it's compatible with Logic, Reaper, Cubase, FL Studio, Ableton, whichever DAW is your favorite, you can follow along there. Since Reveal Plus is a stereo monitoring plugin, place it on your stereo master fader. Pretty much every DAW will have a stereo master fader. Sometimes you will need to create that track. You can go to track, new, stereo, select master fader, like so. Then you'll find the plugin under sound fields, reveal. In another DAW, it might be in a different category. Enter your email address, and then check your email for a pin code, which you'll enter here. Now you'll submit an image of your right ear. I recommend watching the tutorial video here, but I'll walk you through it now. Open up the camera on your phone and hold it in front of the QR code. When you see the link pop up, click on it. Be sure to allow camera permissions if asked. Hold the camera in front of your face so that your whole face fills the screen and make sure you're not tilted above or below, but directly in front. Then get your hair out of the way if you have hair and turn your head to the left and click anywhere and you'll take a picture of your right ear. Now you can compare how does your ear look to the example image and make sure that it has good lighting, that there's no hair in the way, and that it's not too blurry. If it looks good, go ahead and proceed. Then you'll see the success screen and you'll notice that the software will start downloading your oral map profile. Reveal Plus is of course a headphone experience. So let's start with the headphone menu on the top left corner. You can select your favorite Odyssey headsets, which are filtered by the style of headset, closed back, open back, or in-ear. Today, I'll be working with the LCD2 closed. Down here, you'll notice you can change your view in case you're working in a laptop or a smaller screen. And then below there, you have your studio selection. Music Friends Studio is the studio of the Grammy award-winning mixer, producer, and engineer, Carlos de la Garza, who's worked with Paramore, Best Coast, Bad Religion, and most recently, the latest Haley Williams album. His studio features the very nice Wunder audio console. He also has two sets of speakers here, the PMCs and the slightly brighter Unities. You'll notice I can actually click on the speaker to change which one I'm listening to. We also have the Spitfire Studio from Warren Huart. He's a multi-platinum producer who's worked with Aerosmith, The Fray, as well as mixed soundtracks for film and TV. And you may also know him from the Produce Like a Pro series. His studio comes out of the Laurel Canyon in LA, and he also has two different sets of speakers, Focals, 
and Genelex. Personally, when I'm mixing live drums, I reach for the Foucault's in Warren's studio. Maybe it's because he's a rocker and mixes a lot of live drums. Next up is the live room. This offers an acoustically unique experience from the other studios. This room has a more pronounced signature, such as a room that you might record strings or a whole band in. Because of that, we recorded multiple speaker angles. So if you're like me and you like to have a very wide stereo field, you can select angles over here in the speaker selector. And it'll go all the way from 60 degrees, 80 degrees, even 90 degrees. This can be a really useful way to see how your stereo field is translated across a wider acoustic space. We also have the Echo Bar Studios. If you're not familiar with these studios, they are the studios of Eric Rikers and Bob Horn, and they've mixed, produced, and engineered for some of really amazing artists like Earth, Wind & Fire, Herbie Hancock, Everclear Usher, Snoop Dogg, Michael Jackson, the list goes on. These rooms are really precisely tuned and actually designed by Eric, who also designed Dave Pensado's studio. One of the great things about listening to Echo Bar Studio B, which is Bob Horn's room, are you have these beautiful large Augsburgers, but you also have these very small Eve speakers. This is really useful for when you wanna hear how your mix collapses into a narrow stereo field, more similar to a consumer device. And don't forget to scroll down here to listen to the Diamond Control Room at the SAE Expression College. This has this beautiful SSL 9000 board and you'll get to hear both Myers, don't miss these up top here, these soffit mounted speakers. And there's also these Dynaudio monitors on top of the board. Let's talk a little bit about this ambient slider. So you'll notice of course, some rooms have more of an acoustic response and the number may default to a different value. Some rooms are really dead and you can move this slider around a lot and you might not hear as much of a difference, such as like with Echo Bar Studio A. However, for example, if you're listening to the live room, which has a much greater response, you'll notice a much bigger difference in that ambient slider. So each room behaves a little bit differently depending on how live it is. Of course, you have your master gain here and some dB meters. On the headphones tab, you can tweak the type of preset response that you have. I usually keep it at min phase, zero latency to have the snappiest feel. But if you are looking for a higher quality headphone filter, you can select a linear phase filter, which will have a higher latency, but better phase response. Also, you can change the amount of the headphone correction that you're hearing. The limiter tab, I actually recommend to start with the limiter off and start your listening. And if you're experiencing any distortion on your signal output, it really depends on your audio output device. And sometimes also you may be looking for maintaining a very similar peak level to your original mixes. And then you can go ahead and engage the limiter to help you achieve that. If you click on the settings wheel, you'll notice some additional advanced features for those audiophiles looking to fine tune their experience a little bit more. HRTF Intensity is a process on your personalized oral map profile, which allows you to fine tune the balance of spatial separation with micro forensic details of your sound. If you move it all the way to the right, you'll have the maximum effect of your HRTF and the full spatial details of the sound stage of the studio you're listening to. So this is a very personal preference as to what you're looking for. I recommend around level six. But if you would like to hear the difference here, I recommend listening with something with a very high frequency transient details like vocals or a snare drum. We also have a left right balance slider here in case you're feeling perceptually that the stereo field in a particular studio isn't fitting quite right in its alignment for you and your ears. Uh, I would recommend listening to something that is pan dead center and um, seeing if you need to correct it all for that. Bypass during offline bounce to disc. 
So Reveal Plus is created for a monitoring environment. We're not expecting you to bounce it out into your mixes, of course, unless you're looking for a special effect on a certain track. So by default, you will bypass the plugin processing during offline bounce to disk in Pro Tools. Other DAWs, you may need to bypass the plugin manually for your final mix or master. Turning on minimum phase response allows you to hear a higher quality of the phase response of your personalized profile. So if you're an audiophile, you might hear a difference and enjoy that by activating the minimum phase response. If you look over to the right, you'll notice that we have more information about the studio's artists as well as social links. And you can click through these pages to learn a little bit more about them. And finally, in the upper right corner, if you click on the user icon, you'll notice your user profile information. You can remove or add a user. Here, if you bypass the oral map, you won't hear any of the personalization or studios, but headphone presets only. If you'd like to submit a new image, you can click right here to give it another try. For some people, the first image that they submit might not sound amazing to them, and we recommend to try another image and see if you get an improvement. A lot of times, things like lighting or the angle of your head, which you might not have noticed at first, can affect the quality of your experience. If you're loving the way that Reveal Plus is sounding, you can go ahead and click the Activate button. And if you click on Buy Now, it'll take you straight to the store where you can purchase your license and then enter your license code right here to activate. I hope you've enjoyed this video and get a chance to download Reveal Plus and hear it for yourself. Start your free trial today by downloading the link in the description below. Happy mixing!